Welcome to this video in which we will be performing the simulation test on this bearing housing in order to determine the amount of stress, strain, factor of safety and displacement for a certain amount of force. I have already made this bearing housing and you can find the link in the description and in this video I am only applying the simulation test. So let's begin. So here is our bearing housing. The first step is go to this option, select this and press the delete button on your keyboard because we do not need any previously applied material so come back to this part option now select this reference geometry and in this select this point option now select this inner surface and you can see the point has been applied and now go to reference geometry again and select coordinate systems this time in the upper window the point is already selected let me select it again here scroll down and in this z axis we have to select this line this horizontal line okay and now flip the direction and then click ok so now hide this point Now select this add-ins option and in this select SOLIDWORKS simulation check these two boxes and then click OK. So simulation will be appeared here. Go to simulations and in this go to new study. Select here static and then check this box. After that we have to apply some material so click here and apply any material I am applying this alloy steel and after that click apply and close it. so material has been applied and now we have to fix the geometry and as you know that we fixed the bolts here so select these holes and then click OK so we have fixed these holes and now we have to apply some load so select this bearing load in this window select the place of the bearing that is this uh, inner bore and then in the next window select this uh, y or z axis and then apply some load I am applying here 4000 newtons then click OK and now it's time to apply mesh so right click here and create mesh this one and then simply check this box so mesh has been applied it will take some time and here here you can see the mesh has been applied now simply run this uh, study it will take some time and here you can see the load has been applied and here you can see the deformation you are watching the column at the right side it is showing the amount of stress and here is the yield strength right click here click on settings and in this check these two options it will show minimum and maximum stress and here select this floating option and in this option just change the units to newton per millimeter square and then check this option now it's time to animate it so right click here on the stress option and click on animate so here you can see the animation and you can see how the stress is applying here on this specific part you can slow down the pace of uh, animation here the red color indicates the maximum amount of stress so in this region the maximum amount of stress has been applied and in this region you can see the amount of stress and in this region as well so check this option and now right click on this displacement option and click on show and now in this column you can see the amount of displacement
these are in millimeters go to settings in this option check these two options scroll down and in this select this floating option millimeters are fine check this box and now you can see the displacements in millimeters click here on animate and you can see the displacement so this uh, much displacement is acceptable in design 0.002 which means that uh, this load is uh, acceptable 4000 newtons and now it's uh, time to set the strain options just like we have done for displacement and stress select this floating option this is okay check this box and click on show and here you can see the amount of uh, strain so maximum amount of strain is 0 0.001 which is acceptable this is not a problem click on animate and here you can see the amount of strain so this is very negligible amount of strain 0 0.001 is almost nothing you can see the animation and now it's time to show the factor of safety so select your factor of safety check this box and now right click here on the factor of safety option and then go to settings similarly select these uh, two options and then scroll down select this floating option and then click ok and now right click here it's already shown so now the table shown at the right side is the minimum and the maximum values of a factor of safety and here you can see the minimum factor of safety and that's how you find out the factor of safety for your design here you can see the minimum and maximum values for the factor of safety this is the minimum value and this is the maximum value of the factor of the safety let me show you one more thing just increase this number or slide this now this shows that if we change the factor of safety from minimum to maximum then what happens to the amount of stress or load on this uh, part now right click on stress and click on show go to settings now select this option and select this true scale option and then click ok and now the bearing housing has come to its original shape now applied some load and animate it and here you can see the areas of the stress when you apply 4000 newton force on this part so if you find this tutorial helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you